um, it's it seems like the biggest win is being able to have what looks like everybody still be able to train with you today after yeah. that um can you i don't elaborate a little bit i mean was everybody you talking about new who in specific well, or JP, like it seemed like yeah. it's it, uh, as much as i don't know what your uh plan is for everybody but it seemed like they were able to do things our rather than plan suffer. is to try and have everybody back and available for the dallas match and we're working on that new who part partook in summer training jp was most training there were some other guys that we held out just because they had high numbers high outputs tightness soreness so the you know the fitness guys are doing a good job of you know making sure that they're available and you know specifically to new who um he's not it's not horrible it's not a pulled muscle or anything we think it's kind of cramping he was fasting you know he had those monster runs and you know it just was one of those moments i think he's gonna be okay yeah brian you had a chance to now have the weekend to look at the look at the tape obviously it's a, it's a great it's a it's a big win but what are some of the things that you wish you guys would have done differently differently uh i don't know about differently i think maybe better okay. look because they were on this last game of a long stretch to start the season and did we push them over the edge or did they not want to play or what was the dynamics there at the start of the game i think we start off the game good but there was that little bit of spell raul scores a golasso and we get the penalty and we're in control but then there was a little bit of fight in them you know there were some moments 30 40 you know, in there, in that range, still at 2 nothing. Steph has to make that save. There were some things we could have done better defensively. Uh, but, look, at the end of the day, I'm not going to complain. I mean, you know, our attacking movements were good. I thought there was a little better, you know, finishing of our chances. And certainly the red card after that, I think the game was over. And within that same thing, I think one of the things that seemed to be overlooked by the fact that the team scored so many goals is that that big save that Steph made that really it seemed as though it brought a lot of confidence to the attack yeah so we didn't overlook it we showed that as one of the film clips from this morning and we also showed Jacob Castro's saves from the defiance game that kept them them in it as well and it's the importance of that position I mean sometimes look Steph's he gets a lot of attention but goalkeepers in general uh, you know they, they do a lot of heavy lifting behind the scenes. Uh, maybe they don't get as much credit as they should, but that was a big moment in the game. Uh, briefly going back to just how it looked like Leo was full participant today. Was that, is that accurate? Is that not he accurate? was impartial. He, we took some load off him uh, today, but he's gearing up towards full training this week. So the, the injury maybe was not as serious as initially thought? Well, look, the tendonitis versus the torn tendon versus pain tolerance versus, you know, some of the anti-inflammatories versus some of the work to strengthen the quad to prevent some of that, all of that is coming together, yes, faster than the original timeline, and that's good news for us. What did you see out of the third goal? I mean, I counted 19 passes in that yeah. sequence it seems like uh switching the point of attack it just seemed like yeah. everything worked on that yeah everything worked <clears throat> there was a little bit of rotation in between players but spaces on the field we wanted covered were there uh again i thought it was a you know really well constructed goal and jordan's little behind the back little thing was just icing on the cake in what ways do you think cody baker impacted the team's 5-0 victory on saturday night uh, the impact that he had was positive. Uh, he's a good kid, works hard. Uh, you know, defensively, did he make a couple mistakes? Yes. You know, he's a little rushed, a little pressing because he was excited to be on the field. But offensively, probably was the biggest uh, bettering of his expectations because I thought he was very good when he had his when the ball is at feet and so that was a bonus for us just in general how would you describe his playing style and what do you think he brings to the well, team he's a hard-nosed tough kid 
uh, mostly known for his defensive work ethic, but again, he showcased some skills that were pleasant to see. Beyond uh, confidence, is there a question of, of him like moving up the ranks in the sense of being um, equal consideration to Nuhu at that spot, or is it... Like, well, he trained very well today, Jada, and let's see how Nuhu comes. I think this is the last day of Ramadan, I believe. Yeah. And uh, let's see how Nuhu comes out. There is going to be talk about whether we keep the same starting lineup that won 5 nothing. I think all the players played well. There will be that conversation versus is Nuhu kind of a penciled-in starter. Uh, so he's in that conversation, how that conversation proceeds throughout the course of a full year. I would tell you this, that he's, you know, you know he's done a lot to improve his standing. Let's, let's put it that way. Uh, we, we, uh, we asked Cody Baker about the culture of always being ready, always being prepared to go in. That's something that you guys have fostered here for a while. Can, can you tell us, bring us into what that, what that preparation looks like during the week? Is that, you develop that by having those mini matches that you have uh, at the end, of the, the end of the week? I mean, there seems to be a lot of, a lot of positives out of those. I'm not so sure it's the actual training. Yes, the trainings are intense and we have certain, you know, drills that we like. It's the messaging. You know, it's about Seattle being a winning team, you know, that we've started off in MLS and back to the USL and then the A-League and then the NASL. We've always been a competitive winning franchise, and I think that just kind of bleeds into people, especially kids like Cody who have been around for a long time, probably watched a bunch of Sounder games when he was this tall, and now he's playing, but he's heard that so many times that it's ingrained in him. And so... I think that comes more from messaging. Uh, the spirit of him trying to take someone else's job or him finding more playing time or all of that, that's internal. That's all stuff that he wants to accomplish with his career. Oh, uh, okay, well, are you fine? Um, I wanted to know if you saw the athletic um, article kind of questioning the uh, uh, difficulty of y'all winning your CCL um, title. Do you? No, any, or they, they called it easy yeah. the path to the yeah. championship. And now they it's did? flimsy. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I might, might have to read it. You might have to read it. Yeah. I guess my question is, is if that, um, how do you look back at that? Because, I mean, there were champions that you beat in the way, on the path to becoming champions. Like, if you look at their different leagues and such. But... Yeah, I wanted to know how you Champions kind of League back. is Champions League, right? Yeah. So, Lyon, Pumas, New York City FC. Uh, who did we play first? Uh, uh, God, my memory's failing. Olympia was it? Uh, yeah, it, there was. There was. Look, there, we we beat legitimate teams. Uh, yeah. Otagua. So Lyon was a very good team. We played them in the final of the year before in that League's Cup, you know, in Vegas. Uh, Pumas is a historically good uh, I'll have to read it Jada but look everybody has an opinion I mean they can they can do it I hope that the MLS teams that are left Miami and Columbus have a good performance I hope we get a team in there it's good for the league I saw some of the articles from a while back saying that you know the Mexican teams were putting a renewed interest since we won trying to reestablish dominance I think it's cyclical I think we're going to catch them at some point. Maybe they have statistically more teams in it the last two years, but our teams are always going to be competitive. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to kind of touch with, um, on the JP situation, he's going to have to be monitored. Just wanted to get your take on how he's doing after a quick shift that he had just now. Yeah, the game was cooked by then. It was a great opportunity to just get him some minutes. Uh, the bigger test will be going through a full full week of absolute hard training, you know, some minutes against Dallas, and then we'll see what it is. But he's fine. Even though it was only a few minutes, how did it feel having him back on the pitch? It was good. The crowd loved it. JP loved it. It was good. It's good for him. Good for the fans. On a personal level, I mean, how much relief does that five zero? I would have taken one nothing. <laughs> I would have taken one nothing at the ninetieth minute. Okay. Just a win. Just a win.
Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.